That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Mission Control, this is Triton 1. Preparing to descend. Yeah, copy that. Depth 100 meters. We're entering the twilight zone. This is the first major piece of work that the XL Catlin Deep Ocean Survey has achieved. Really it's the start to put together a standard protocol for understanding the distribution of life in the ocean and also how healthy the ocean actually is. Part of the Nectar mission is to communicate the story of what we're doing. We're trying to find a new story, a new way of engaging people in the ocean. Words can't describe, just incredible. Never mind the experience, but to see that stuff. I understand why people are excited about space, but really, this is here. For us, the transparent acrylic pressure hole enables us to witness people in the deep. And I think it's that single thing that creates the vital human link that can reconnect us with the ocean. I'm really sold on the value of these manned submersibles because you hear it often that, oh, we don't need men down there, we just need to put machines. And uh, I think that's really off the mark. You just never can replace the human experience about being in one of these submersibles. The, the fascination, I think, is in learning more about the last great unknown environment, the last sort of final frontier. It's classic exploration, it's a marriage between um, proper science, exploration and, and adventure together. So you, you, you're sort of hitting all, all the key buttons and inspiring. I feel like I've been to the moon. I mean, this is just a totally, it's just another world. I think it's now or never, right? We are at we are at crossroads, and if we're not going to protect it now, uh, then it will be just simply too late. We need to bring more people down and show them that this is that time is now. We managed to do 76 sub dives, over 40 technical dives for the technical dive team. So we're going away with uh, computers stuffed full of data. The data that we've collected is going to generate quite a few scientific publications. All of our work also has policy implications, so we'll be feeding all of that information back to uh, the Bermuda government. It's been a really amazing trip. This is not ambitious enough. 
We need to catalyse the legal, political, economic decisions that will fundamentally secure our future. And the link between ocean governance and ocean science is completely intrinsic. The heart of our planet is the most unknown part of our planet, and that just isn't sensible. It was hugely ambitious, over-ambitious for us, over-ambitious for me, absolutely, but not over-ambitious for the ocean, and the ocean is our only client.